Next up at BTC 11, it's an amateur lightweight bout between Lane Foxton and Jared Shipley. Lane Foxton and Jared Shipley were supposed to meet back in March of 2020 before the pandemic shut it down. So with one year to get themselves and their skills sharper, they now meet here in the BTC cage. Lane Foxton plans to dictate the pace and not get suckered into a brawl. I'm ready for anything. You know, I'm, uh, I'm preparing, like I said, for a tough opponent. Um, I think if I can, you know, dictate the pace, keep him in my range, then I think it'll, it'll be a good night for me. But I'm prepared for any anything. I obviously see myself, you know, dominating everywhere, but uh, I'm ready for, for anything. Jared Shipley had a feeling that this fight with Lane wouldn't be over, so he always stayed ready. Shipley didn't look at any footage, he just knew who his opponent was and signed the contract and plans for this fight to be fight of the night. Didn't do any research on him. I never really do. Just kind of, I'm fighting myself kind of kind of mentality, right? It just might be like a fight of the night kind of style. Like it's probably going all three rounds, just, yeah, just a war. It's a lightweight amateur bout between Lane Foxton and Jared Shipley. Ladies and gentlemen, our third bout of the day is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the BTC Amateur Lightweight Division. The man in charge of the action when your cage door closes is your referee, Mr. Luke Boutin. Introducing first to my right, in the blue corner. He comes in at six feet even, weighed in at 155 and one half pounds. He comes in with an amateur MMA record of one victory, zero losses, and one draw. Representing CMAC out of Lethbridge, Alberta, Jared Shipley. And introducing his opponent across the cage in the red corner. He comes in at six feet, one inch tall, weighed in at 155 pounds even. He comes in with an amateur MMA record of two victories and one loss. Representing Ludus Martial Arts from Edmonton, Alberta, Lane Foxton. And this fight is brought to you by Heavy Hitter Hot Sauce, Canada's best hot sauce. From featherweight to heavyweight, Heavy Hitter, we fight clean. You ready? You ready? In the corner what? of Jared Shipley, Lee Main back at it. Oxen coming out strong, aggressive. Foxen definitely coming out strong, and he also told us like he knew Shipley was a tough, durable guy and just hard to put away. He's not expecting this one to be a walk in the park. Foxton looking to use his underhooks here. Shipley's going to look to pummel in his left underhook. Try to circle him off the wall if he can. Into the body there from Foxton. Foxton's going to look to maybe shut that right arm of Shipley. Might be take the back. Oh, there. Right on cue, Jared gets his wizard in there and stops any of that happening. Josh, so many times, this is where a lot of the, the hard, tiring work is up against the fence, but Foxen does a good job getting the double leg takedown. Nice double leg takedown. Jared looking to go for that guillotine here. Oh, he let it go. He gives up full mount. Now he's going to get his back up here, which is not good. Oh, and the body triangle is in as well from Foxton. Foxen's going to look to Flatten his hips out, flatten Jared onto the mat, which exposes the neck. Puts you in a very vulnerable, compromised, and weak position. Shipley is, though, in his corner, so he's getting some good advice right there, but... Yeah, he's in a, I mean, in a bad spot, but at a good spot inside of, as far as the cage, where he's right in front of Lee, getting advice. Here goes Fox, he's going to try to flatten him out here. Yeah, trying to rack up a, a first round submission. Hard to tell here from our angle if it's underneath the chin or not. Looking for that short choke. Foxton has his first ever amateur MMA win, was by rear naked choke back in May of 2019. Go for Jared. Oh, so he's doing a good job of fighting the hands here, but might be in trouble now. 
And it looks like Foxman was able to slink that from on the chin to under under the chin right now. Garrett's doing a good job. He's fighting the two on one. We call it. He's fighting his two hands on his one. It's, it's a lot harder to submit with just one arm. It is possible, but much harder. Good patience. Good job to that, stay calm. Oh. So close. Garrett's hanging in there, doing the right things. As long as he controls that arm, he should be all right. Boxing now, really work for that choke. He needs to start turning his body to the right side to finish, excuse me, the left side. Pulling his elbow down to come across that throat. But Jared's doing a good job of fighting in there, hanging there. He's got 10 seconds left. I think he's he broke the grip here. too, so good job by Jared Shipley and moving up to the moniker that Lane Foxton thought tough to finish. Absolutely, yeah. And there's the round to end round uh, the belt to end round number one and a very good showing from Lane Foxton. Ooh, oh, both swinging, both swinging really powerful punches and Shipley was a good left hook and falls up with a kick. Now they clinch up, which is the world where Foxen wants this fight to be. Nice. Beautiful move, way for Foxen to, to transfer his hips as that was going to be him on his back, but shucked at the last minute, and now it's Shipley on his back right up against the fence near us. Yeah, Shipley did a good job of getting back to, to full guard here. He's got both legs in, but Foxen's doing a good job. He's posturing up here. He's going to look to put his hips in and look to ground a pound. Might take the back here. He does. He's got the looking for the exact same position he had uh, to close out the first round. Might, might see a nice mount return here if he creeps around that back. Lifts up, but Jared's doing a good job, very good. He got his underhook in his first positions. Now he's pressed to Fox and I get the cage. Need the body from both gentlemen. This is the work here. This is where that's like ruling and taxing and tiring and these little shots of the body and like the, the pummeling and the, the wall wrestling. Oh. Knee to the head, to which the head you there. cannot do in amateur mixed martial arts. I believe he, he was trying to go for the body there, just yeah. you know the way Jared backed out. He kind of brought his head down and, and it clipped him, but I don't think it was intentional. No, I think it was clear accident. As soon as uh, Lane landed it, he knew he, yeah. he shouldn't have done that and, and backed away. Yeah, and that's exactly what Fox is saying to our referee here. I was looking for the body, but hit the head by accident. Try right back in and tap the gloves. Big oh. shots. Change of big wild punches here. Nice push kick by Foxton up the middle. Good nice right, right hand, hand from Foxton. Foxton trying to showcase his striking a little bit here in the second round. You see Shipley's just getting in there now, just kind of brawling. Sometimes that's what you gotta do though. Try to brawl, make it dirty, and turn the fight into, into your favor. Yeah, and that, that's, that's something Lane talked about uh, beforehand. He said he didn't want to make it a brawl. He wanted to just stay technical, and, and right now that's a perfect move, but he did. Now he's at the back again, looking to get that hook in. Foxen told us he would also like one more amateur uh, after this fight before turning pro uh, in the beginning of 2022. As he once again takes the back and is looking to set up that rear naked choke. He was riding a bit high, but a good adjustment there. Shipley's doing a good job. He's trying to roll through here, but Fox is, oh, a nice transition there. Ends up in half guard. And working in half guard, trying to land some shots to the body. Now pinning Shipley up against the fence here as we approach 20 seconds left in round number two. Jared using that knee shield to try to create space, but Boxen's not having any of it here. He's staying tight on him, looking to just chip away. There were some good shots to the body, some good hammer fists, now some good clean punches right to the ribs of Shipley. And the bell goes to end round number two. Another solid round for Lane Foxton as we are set here for the start of our third round of our final amateur fight of the afternoon. Big punches coming from Shipley, but once again, just once he gets in range, just Foxton's gonna shoot the, the for the takedown and get and gets it here. 
when come, someone comes at you so aggressive like that, it makes the takedown so much more easier, right? Because they're putting all their weight down, start loading up on punches. You can just slide underneath like, like Lane did there and got the back again. And once again, setting that up with the, the body triangle. And this time he's got a lot of time to work with. Just got both hooks in now. Got the, it's partially under the chin here. But again, Jared just no quitting him for sure. He's always fighting these hands, always looking to try to get out of here. I mean, and you got to respect that too. For a lot of guys in this spot, you know, in their amateur debut would maybe, ah, oh, you know what, I'll call in a night, I'll, I'll, you know, get back to the drawing board. But not Shipley. He's trying to fight and, you know, showing some great uh, hand defense and, and jiu-jitsu defense on the, uh, with his back taken. Yep, that's mental toughness, man. You know, a lot of people, like, look for a way out. They think, oh, okay, I've, I've gone this far or whatnot. And then, you know, I've done, I've done good enough. But, you know, not Jerry. He, he's fighting to the end. He's trying to win this fight. He's doing everything he possibly can. Another thing, too, what, what, what might be difficult for Lane to finish that rear naked choke is the bigger glove. You know, the, the amateurs wear the, the six-ounce gloves instead of the four. They're a little bit bigger, puffier. So it is hard to slide that underneath the chin. Yeah, and, you know, if Shipley did well, he, he did risk control there, but Foxen went right back, going to the body with some body punches to set up this. Now opportunity to once again try to sink in the rear naked choke. Yeah, just positionally sound. Lane doing a very good job of just following Jared wherever he goes. He's one step ahead. Now he switches to the body triangle, which is you know going to make it even more difficult for Jared to get out. And it's also going to restrict that breathing. Right, He's got a minute and 10 seconds left here, but you can see Jared's taking the deep breath. This is wearing on him. Having something on your back. It sucks. <laughs> yeah, I can only imagine. But yeah, you see the deep breaths of just, you know, total exhaustion. And, and, and you know, the body triangle makes that breathing that much tougher. Yeah, oh, absolutely. It restricts your breathing. It's that tightness. Now he switches back to the other guy. He does a great job. Jared's doing a good job trying to go, roll to the side that the body locks on. But then Lane does a good job. He lets it go. And then he switches back to the other side. So both guys are doing good things here. But Lane's just one step ahead. Yeah, Lane's just once again riding the, the back control here and kind of has a little bit abandoned and trying to set up the, the choke here again. Once again, going to the body. And this oh. one may be in. 30 seconds left here in the third and final round, but Shipley does a great job of fighting hands. He does, yeah. Lane needs to get his head on the, uh, the same, or his, excuse me, Jared's left side. If he gets his head there, he can use his head to push against it as well. It'll make it that much tighter, but again, when you're flat on your back like that, it is harder to finish. But Jared does a great job. The two-on-one again. No quitting, Jared. No quitting, Jared, at all, as he sees now at least the less than 10 seconds left here in the third and final round. And more shots to the body from Foxton will close out this fight and will close out our amateur fight. A really great performance by Lane Foxton. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of amateur mixed martial arts action, we go to our judges for a decision. Judge Ziad Harb scores it 30-27. Judge David biller Sokowik scores it 30-27. And Judge Andy Social scores it 30-25. All for the winner by unanimous decision, Lane Foxton! Thirty twenty sevens and a thirty twenty five, Josh, which I think was warranted. Yeah, I mean, it was a, you know total domination. It really wasn't any danger. He was doing you know offensive the whole fight, and uh, yeah, I mean, the right guy obviously won. He won the decision, but yeah, that's uh, you know some ju judges giving out ten eight rounds, which I can see, and especially the new uh, uh, scoring format, how they're giving out ten eights, much more, much more popular. Uh, so cool for the rules, baby, get off of me. Never need no push, I do it all for me Look how we litty, we turned up the city, we raising the bar height I been finessing, just look at them stressing, yeah, they been up all night Sipping this water with somebody, daughter, she take what I taught her and build on it Came in this game on that, they ain't in the cup, but years later we still on it